Hey, what's going guys? Crypto Security wasn't here bringing you an updated and easier version on setting up Unturned Rocket Server on Linux. I did a video on setting up an Unturned Server for Linux using Rocket Manager, but in this video I'll be using the original Rocket Guide on installing Unturned in Linux. The difference between Rocket Manager and this method is that Rocket Manager allows you to update Rocket and unturn every time it schedules for a restart using the Rocket API key. So I'll be using a Linux VPS running on Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit and I'll be connecting using Putty, link in the description for the program. Essentially, is an SSH client which allows you to connect to the Linux server. So, copying down the IP address, paste it in, port will be left at 22, and click open. Just click yes, and log in as root, and the password will be whatever password the host provider gave you. And you can just press right click on your mouse and enter, which will automatically paste it in. Right, once you're logged in, you should be on the user root or whatever username you logged in as. The next step is to install all the prerequisites needed to have un the unturned server to run. So we're going to need to run all these commands. Now first of all, we're going to need to run the sudo apt get update, which Firstly, it updates all the repositories so you can actually install all of these. But I have created a script on installing all the repositories so you don't need to individually type every single command. If you do want to type every single command, make sure you have sudo behind them. So let's say you want to individually do this. Just type in sudo and paste it in and just click enter. Now since we'll be using a simple script, the link will be in the description down below. Just copy the script, go back into Ubuntu, type in nano, and then right click on your mouse and you'll paste it in. Control X, Y, and file name to write, just type in install.sh, enter. Right, and when you type in ls, you see install.sh, and we're going to need to make this executable. So it's chmod plus x install.sh. Now that we've done that, we can just type in dot slash install.sh, and it will begin installing all the repositories that it's meant to do. Now that it's finished installing all the prerequisites, the next step is to create a new user because we don't want to run unturned on root. So to do that, using this guide right here, link in the description down below, just type in add user and whatever username you want. So I'm just going to name this admin and then enter the password for the admin and retype it and just click enter for all these. Information is correct. Y enter. Right now that's done. We're going to need to add this to the sudo group. So use the mod minus a capital G sudo and the username they created. So Apple admin. Now that's done. We're going to switch to the admin user that we just created. So just type in su admin enter. Right, so now that we're inside the admin user, as you see here, we're going to go back into the admin directory which was created for the new user. Just type in cd and the little squiggly lines right under escape on your keyboard. Enter. And now that we're here, we're going to install Rocket and Unturn. Now you can use this method right here, just type, copy and paste every single command in. However, I've created a new script that allows you to all update Rocket and Unturn every time you want to run this script. 
So that means every time if you want to update Rocket or Unturn, you don't have to go back to the guide and retype in every single command again. So copying the script, go back and just type in nano, right click on your mouse, and you want to change the Steam username and Steam username password to obviously a, another account, preferably one that does not have Steam Guard, and type in the Steam user and password, and control X, Y, and file name to write, you can just name this to rocket update.sh, enter. Now type in ls, which we use the list of files in the folder can see rocket update.sh and the same method as we did before we're gonna make this file executable so chmod plus x rocket update.sh enter now it's done we can now run the rocket update.sh so dot slash rocket update.sh enter now it will begin by getting rocket mod extracting it removing the old zip file going to scripts update the permissions and as you can see running the steam cmd to uh, now that it says the app has been fully installed right now that's finished it will go back to the scripts folder and we're going to get out the directory so just type in cd dot dot as you can see we're back into the admin directory so when we type ls we can now see all our unturned files Next, we're going to run screen, which is basically an active session that allows the unturned server to run. So we just type screen minus s and unturned, for example. Now that I started new screen, we're going to go to the scripts folder again. And we're going to type dot slash start dot sh and the instance name, which will be the server folder that will be created inside servers. So the name is server1. It will say steam not found but then rocket will obviously load and the unturned server will begin to start. And as you can see the unturned server has successfully started. So now we're going to enable Archon which is basically the telnet console of unturned. Just gonna type in shutdown to shut down the server. And as we back into the scripts folder, but we're still in the screen session. So we're gonna go back into the directory. So we type in cd dot dot. We're gonna go into our server folder and edit the rocket config. So cd servers ls again, server one, so cd server one. cd rocket. we're going to edit the rocket.config.xml so just type in nano with capitals rocket.config.xml there we go and then where it says archon enable change that to true the port we left that to 7115 the password you can leave it to whatever you want but i'm just gonna leave it as change me all right now that's done we're just gonna Press Ctrl X on the keyboard, press Y, enter. Alright, and we're going to go back to the scripts folder. So we're going to go back to the directories, so it's dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot, which goes back three directories. And we're back into the scripts. And we're back to the main admin directory. So we will type ls, as you see here. So we type in cd scripts. Now we're going back in the scripts folder, we're going to start our server again. So start.sh and server1. Now we're still in the screen session, we haven't left out of it, so unturned will still run even when this SSH client is closed. Now that the server started with Archon, we're going to connect to it by Archon. So start a, another poly session and type in the IP of the Ubuntu server. 
selected it and the port we set in rocket config as 27115. You just press open, type in login and the password we put in the rocket config, enter and we should be logged in now so we type admin as you can see and we can actually close this SSH and we will still be able to type commands in and players are still able to connect and we can even close this and the server will still run. Now we're going to shut down the server. We should close it. And we're going to reconnect the SSH time. So through SSH this time, port left at 22. Open. And this time we're going to log in as the new user we created, which was admin, the password we put. And we should automatically be inside the admin directory, so ls as you can see. Now we're going to check if the server is still running by typing screen minus ls. So since we already shut down the server but the screen is still running, we're going to type kill, we're going to type, we're going to type kill all screen. We should terminate the screen session as you can see. Now if you want to update the server, just type in dot slash rocket update dot sh which we put before and it will automatically download rockets, extract it and update unturned as well by running steam cnd. And do this every time there's a new update on the underhood. So this is finished updating unturned. Just to start the server again, just follow the method screen minus s, whatever you want. For example, unturn. Go into the scripts folder and the start.sh server one or whatever you put, restart the server. Now, if you want to connect to the server, just click play, connect, and the IP of the Ubuntu server. And the port, which is default of 27015, connect and join. There you go, the server is now running fully. And if we head over here, we actually close the session and the server will still run. That is it for this tutorial, hope you guys enjoy. If you want to install plugins, you can head over to my other video on installing an FTP server, which allows you to drag and drop plugins and configs so I hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a like if it helped and see you guys next time.